Today we're going to show you how to dump a program into a micro SD card so that you can program one of our new generation 2 control boxes. First thing you need is a micro SD card. These are available at Best Buy, Walmart, any place where you can pick up any kind of electrical, electronic stuff. They're very inexpensive. You also need a USB compatible SD card reader. Um, this is one that's a little bit nicer, but it plugs into your USB port on your computer. It also has the SD slot. I'm going to use this real simple one here. These are like $4. They're very inexpensive. Just simply insert the SD card, the micro SD card in there. It kind of clicks in. And then insert it into your laptop or other device. Depending on your computer, something will probably pop up immediately and try to run. Uh, I'm going to click through these and cancel and just show you the, the way that I do it. It's the easiest way. I click on the start menu. I click on my computer. I then find the removable disk. And the first thing I want to do is make sure that it's clean. Delete all the files off of it altogether. In this case I'm reusing one and I want to make sure that there's no files on that SD card. So I just delete those. Highlight all the items. Delete them. I now have a clean SD card. Go to my email where someone from Right Height has emailed me the file that I want to transfer over to the micro SD card. It's a zip file, if you can see that on the screen or not. Uh, open up the zip file. There should be four program files. I'm going to click on the first one, highlight all of them by shift, using the shift button, I highlight all of them, I right click, copy, and I come back over here to the removable disk folder which is now empty. I go click on that and I'm going to right click again and hit paste and all of those files are going to copy over to the micro SD card. That's the first step in the process. The next step in the process we will take these files and we'll go over to the control box and install it. Whenever Right Height does send out a replacement program for whatever reason we will include an instruction drawing that kind of go through, goes through this step by step, tells you how to reprogram the board. Uh, we went through the first part already, getting the program files onto the SD card, and then that steps through how to insert the SD card into the slot, watch the programming lights, etc. Through all of this, make sure you're following any appropriate lockout tagout procedures in your area that your customer has or your own company. So the first thing we do, we're at the control box. We just simply opened it up. Again, we're wearing any personal protective equipment that's required. We're going to remove the SD card from the USB reader, insert it into the micro SD slot on our microprocessor board. It kind of clicks in. We're going to hit the reset button, which is down here as labeled reset. Two LED lights will come on. That's telling us that it's reading the program. After a few seconds, these lights are going to go out. The unit kind of recycles itself. We can then remove the SD card. You've just reprogrammed it. Safe thing to do, reset it one more time, let it cycle through, then test your piece of equipment for operation. That's it.